Hello everyone, this is Adit back again with another video. So in this video, we are going to learn uh, how to create this web animation in uh, React Native. And we are going to use uh, React Native Skia for this thing. And there is some other packages as well. So let's get started. And before we start, if you haven't subscribed the channel already, then uh, do consider subscribing. We usually talk about React Native and web development stuff. Yeah, so let's get started now. So first of all, over here, I have already created a Expo project. And inside that, I have already installed some of the depend dependencies that we are going to need, right? So over here, we, we are going to need React Native Skia. And we are also going to need D3 to create uh, that, uh, uh, you know, uh, that wave line and stuff. And uh, for reanimated and uh, gesture handler, I don't think we were going to need it. But anyway, I have installed it uh, for some other purpose as well. But yeah. So now let's get started. To create this animation, first thing that we're going to need is uh, canvas from React Native Skia. And then we'll do all the stuff over it, right? So now, uh, if you just go over here, First thing, uh, I'm just going to remove these codes. This, these are not required over here. We are going to have canvas. And we also need a style. And for now, I'm just going to have a flex one. That's all we're going to need. And uh, let's have style, styles.canvas. So that it gets all the and level space and now what we are going to need is uh, let's define the stuff first of all so first thing uh, we are going to need a dimension uh, so we get the dimension from from dimension api which is going to come from the react native and uh, Let's define the width of our animation. Uh, like it is going to take uh, the complete width. Okay, and similarly the height. Okay, and now we also need to define like uh, how much wave we want to create, right? So for that, we are just going to create a variable called frequency. So as of now, I'm going to put two, uh, two waves that is it is going to create uh, flag for the selected part that we have. And in that, it is going to have two wave. And similarly, we need to add amplitude as well. As well. Amplitude is basically how long the wave is going to be, like vertically, how, what is going to be the length of uh, that uh, wave, right? From now, I'm just going to keep 10. Okay. And, uh, and we can also define like a vertical offset, like uh, how much we are going to need uh, at two. Let me just start the app so that I can give you a better vis visuals. So vertical offset is basically from where our graph is going to be started, right? Like if it is going to be here or wherever. So for that one, I'm just going to put the vertical ops offset as uh, as 100. Good. Now these are the all the things that we need to define first of all, and we are going to use it. So vertical offset. We are going to update the vertical offset as we are going to move up and down when we are going to touch the canvas, right? So, so in that case, uh, I'm just going to use vertical 
offset use value in Skia we use use value to make the values dynamic and uh, I was not able to type it I don't, I don't know why and uh, then we are, we may also also going to change the amplitude right so uh, we are going to create to the path of uh, like first of all let's just create a path to create a path we're just going to have one function and uh, it's going to have number of phases you're going to need and uh, then over here we first of all we're just going to create points array dot from and uh, this is the width like we want the complete uh, uh, width of the screen so we are going to create that much of uh, uh, po points right and uh, Here we can also define the angle at dot pi and the number of frequencies we want to uh, like on the wave plus phase, and then we're just going to return this array index and uh, the amplitude dot current math dot sign I found this uh, a values to create the wave uh, from the wave uh, I don't know much about d3.js I'm still trying to learn it so here you can consider it as like a I have copied it from somewhere offset dot Parent. and uh, yeah so these two are the values we are going to return uh, the, from the point and then cons let's create the linear uh, curve here and line line is going to come from the d3 so let me just import line dot curve and said that we are just going to pass the curve of basis which is going to come from again from uh, d3 only and then let's just create wave using our points so line generator and uh, here we are just going to pass the points and then just the bottom line we just have L width and the second value is uh, height and uh, this is like how much you want to shift from the horizontal position from the left or right from the from the left i guess and uh, then uh, just going to have the height so this is the bottom line and now we're just going to return scarlet wave line and uh, then we're just going to return the 
bottom line. Cool. So this is the path that we have created. This is basically help you to uh, create the curves. And then we need to create our animated path. Let's call it path. And it is going to have the use computed value. Complete native skia. Const current. And let's have clock so that uh, the, our animation is going to trigger from uh, using the clock value. Use clock value. And then over here, clock. dot current plus plus dy255 modulus 255 and const start so our animation is going to start skia sorry let me do skia and then path dot make svg from string create web path and then just pass, going to pass this current web current and we are going to have the end as well which is similar it's just uh, create web path and it is just going to have math dot pi and web current and then return start dot interpolate and 0 0.5 wait and uh, this value is going to trigger on uh, clock and uh, the vertical offset value and then we need to pass it this animated path using a path from react native skia and we're just going to pass animated path and i think we can uh, we need to provide the style style is going to be fill so give the color we're not able to see anything on the screen but uh, mm, okay so we made some mistake and that is uh, cool but sometimes it happens like when you uh, when our, your app doesn't recognize the models that you have installed, then you need to run it again. Let's get a gradient uh, to display, like so that it will have both the. It will get the complete wave. Gradient start and use component value. Return this is going to be a calculation. It's going to be zero and uh, vertical offset dot current. And similarly, we are just going to have gradient. I'm just going to return back zero and uh, vertical offset dot current 500 and this is also going to trigger from the vertical offset only great and now let's pass this gradient inside this one so it's path and then this is going to need one linear gradient from the React Native Skia. Yes, and uh, gradient start, gradient end, and uh, the color. Let's uh, have sign and blue. Cool. Let's see if there anything is breaking. Oh. There might be because I have installed additional package and I haven't configured the things for the additional package in my 
Babel config. Maybe that's why. So add these two plugins and let's restart again. Uh, hopefully this will start now. Nope. Just having Skia path. I haven't raised this so earlier. Okay, so I'm not able to see anything on the screen, maybe because I have added these two. Sorry. Hmm. Now, I don't know why it is behaving like this, uh, but there's something wrong that we need to fix. So what I was doing is like, uh, instead of having plus over here so that uh, it was getting the whole uh, vertical offset value getting multiplied. So that was getting the out of the screen and creating the amplitude, uh, which is way higher than the expected value. And the second thing is that uh, while creating this uh, line, I forgot to add this chat. Uh, so that's why it was creating some issue. Now, uh, if you see our screen, we are apt to see like we are apt to create the wave and uh, we are successfully adding this uh, sign in blue color. And now let's add the touch handling on that. So for that one, let's have const on touch handler use touch handler from react native skia and it has uh, certain functions we are going to use you uh, on active and let's grab the y since we are going to change the value of y, uh, like our vertical offset only and uh, this is going to update on y right y is greater than vertical offset and vertical offset dot current cultural math dot min height y and uh, we are going to change the amplitude dot current dot max zero offset dot current multiplied by zero point zero two five cool and now we need to pass this on touch handler to this one on touch on touch handler and now if we just re reload it so over here just reload it do go away then now okay non standard mm, let's give it initial vertical offset it's greater than this and the vertical offset is going to update uh yeah here we are now have to move our wave as well so yeah, um, this is how we have created using D3 and uh, the React Native Skia mostly. We haven't used anything else. So yeah, this is it for this video. And if you like the video, consider subscribing. And uh, thank you for watching.